Happy Thriving Thursday. Today let's talk about buyer consultations. I know what you're thinking, ain't nobody got time for that. Trust me, it wasn't my typical approach either, but after we went through the Momentum course, buyer conversion in our office, I will always do one now because I learned you don't have time not to. It determines if the buyer is motivated, serious, qualified, and sets roles and expectations of you as the agent and them as the buyer. It's not just about overwhelming them and boring them to tears with the detailed steps of the home buying process. Well, not if you do it my way, anyways. Usually the first question that most of us are taught to ask when we talk to a potential buyer is, have you been qualified for a mortgage? When it should be steps deep into the conversation for the buyer consult. Your first question should be, when are you available to meet in the office for a consultation? Why? Because when you bury this in the conversation, that puts you in a referable position. Did your head just explode a little? Because mine did when I learned that. You could be referable if you have taken the time to meet with them. So what I learned is that a lot of problems us agents face could have been avoided altogether if we would have started with the buyer consultation. So things like, I've showed these people 50 houses and they haven't made an offer. Well, we could have determined motivation and how serious they were in the consult. They went to an open house and wrote an offer with the listing agent, covered in roles and expectations. I found out they were working with another agent. Definitely would have been found out in the buyer consult. So have those buyer consultations. If you want help with how to structure the flow of the conversation, let me know. I'd even be happy to role play it together with you. So continue to practice kindness out there. Have a wonderful thriving Thursday and a great weekend.